Sam, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you going, my man? How are you? Good. What's happening? I'm fine, I'm great. How's your weekend? My weekend was beach and the beach. <laughs> oh, you went to the beach? Awesome. Yes, it was great. Every day I went to uh, I go to beach. Oh, that's nice. It must have been really hot again, eh? <laughs> yes. Because uh, there is uh, nothing to go. Where can I go? Only beach and you can go to the cafe. Cafe. Mm -hmm. I think nothing else. Okay. Uh, in the UK, can you go to the beach? Uh, it is uh, cold, uh, hot. Um, no, not. It's not really hot anymore. I mm. think, uh, you know, last maybe two two weeks ago it was warm, but not anymore. It's back to oh. the to the usual UK weather. Maybe it's about twenty degrees. Doesn't get hotter than that now. It mm. might. It might come. Uh, it might. The, the heat wave might return, but I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it. It's just getting um, um, cool again, yeah. And uh, yeah, but we can go to the beach. They have small some beaches here, like um, Blackpool. But it's not like this. <laughs> it's not like the Greek beaches or maybe like the beaches in South America or Sicilia is from. Or there is a lot of beach in Australia. Greece only. Only beach. Because mm. there is um, six months only warm, six months warm, hot. You cannot uh, stay at home. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It must be really warm, so it's yeah. half the year it's hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially, and I think Athens. And the, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. And the winter is not very, very cold here. The it's winter not, is, yeah. Yes, it is very sweet winter. It is not not hot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> okay, we have some let's have a look. Some um Cecilia has joined us. Welcome back, Cecilia and Coro. Hello, Hello. Coro. Hello. Yes, Heidi was here earlier but she dropped out. Mm -hmm. Um so anyways. Welcome, guys. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Um, so, why don't you tell me something about you know what what you did at the weekend? Uh, start with uh, Koro. Uh, hello. Uh, yes, this weekend was wonderful because I was in the French mm -hmm. uh, hiking a mountain. Um, after this, we were on the beach and in we swimming and after this we have we had a barbecue oh nice mm -hmm. nice nice excellent <coughs> <coughs> sorry um okay and cecilia how was your weekend what did you get up to uh, i was working and when I I that's past continuous. I worked and I studied and I went to bed early mm -hmm. and I had lunch with my son and his girlfriend and I received my sister who brought me a book from a friend from from my youth, uh, who uh, I am eager to read because uh, in one of her stories she mentions me. Oh, wow! Must be a very special feeling. <laughs> yes, I'm uh, eager to read it. I, I've got no time at all, but I'm sure I'm going to find some only to 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 scan all the stories to see which is the one where I am. Is it a big book? 
No, 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 no. It's a, a of recycled uh, paper, the cover, and very small. But it's my my sister brought it from the provinces. She read it um, mostly on the way home. My mom has already read the book, and perhaps my husband even reads it before me. Oh no! <laughs> but uh, yes, everyone's going to read it before me. I'm sure. But it doesn't matter. I am not as jealous at all. That's good. I'm sure your time will come to read the book, to find yourself in the nice stories. Okay, that's cool. And Isam, well, did you do anything else apart from going to the beach? On the weekend? Um, I I'm running every day, one hour. I like to run. Oh, that's cool. Do you run on the beach itself, or just on the? Oh, road. not on, on the beach. I can't run because um, there is none. You can't uh, run because there is a lot of rocks. Yes, um, it's not I, it's not sand, really, is it? Yeah, I I think uh, the swim is enough to do. After that, if I have uh, energy, I can go to run. Mm, excellent. Okay. Yes. That's good. It's good. You're keeping fit. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, let's let's start then. I'll, I will ask you uh, just a random question. See how you respond to this. Um, how did scientists invent such small cameras we find on smartphones? You know, if you look at a smartphone technology, the cameras that they have inside are so small, or even on your laptop. I mean, they're like eight megapixel cameras, you know, and uh, at the back of the phone, even bigger than that now. How did these scientists invent such small cameras? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, our topic is science and technology, so this is what I'm, to, oh, I'm mentioning this. And also, um, I'll tell you about the actual grammar skill. It's past perfect, so I'm giving it away there. If, so try if, to use uh, it. if yeah, it's try. easy, you type the question because I can't uh, okay. hear you everything. Uh, my connection is not so good. Sure, no problems. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, I'll put it in the Kalingo chat. Welcome back, Sham. Hello, Sham. Hi, teacher. It's good to see you. Okay, so, yeah, how did scientists invent such small cameras uh, that we find in smartphones? Try to use past perfect. Let's see if you can figure out. Mm. They invented the cameras mm -hmm. searching weather, searching to release weather gadget to spion. So what was the last bit? Sorry? <clears throat> I didn't I didn't get the last bit of the sentence, the last word. Uh, they invented Mm -hmm. Small cameras searching to find better gadgets mm -hmm. to spy on people. Ah, to spy on people, yeah, yeah, to spy, spy on people. people. I think <laughs> it's a possibility. So you think, okay, that, that was the initial idea. <laughs> Possible, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you see these um, secret agents and secret organizations that mm -hmm. maybe work. It co uh, sort of help the governments. Yeah? I think it is very useful for the camera in the smartphone. Mm -hmm. It is not um, not uh, for bad things, for bad uh, user using. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a very good thing to, that we can have these small cameras in our pockets, you know? Because when when you when you are in the in in 
anywhere you can talk photo but before you have to take with you the camera yes 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 I think it is better right now mm. <clears throat> okay anyone else has any other opinions about how the Scythians invented these small cameras Hello, Aka Ken. Welcome back. Uh, hello. Yes. You thank go? you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah. We, we're talking about uh, uh, science and technology, and I just sort of asked a question: How do the scientists scientists uh -huh. invent these uh -huh. small cameras that we find on our smartphones? You know, how do they come? Ah, uh, could be spy, <laughs> spy yes. people. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> mentioned that. Yeah. Yeah. So that might have been the initial um, initiative, or you know, the idea behind it. Or maybe that's how they used it, that technology, at the start, to begin with, you know, and then eventually it came out on the market. I mean, if you look at the internet, for example, before it became a global thing, who used it and for what purpose? Uh, American Army to use, to create, the, build their network. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's the origin of the internet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then eventually, so... Any technology or invention really that comes, the government usually, or the governments, they, they, they are the ones who make the most out of it, you know. And then if there's <clears throat> uh, no, no risk or if it's safe to, you know, sell it in the market, they do that. So probably the same thing might have happened with, uh, you know, cameras that we find in our phones. Maybe they use it, small, uh, small cameras to attach to some of the agents, you know, to put it in certain rooms and, and hide it some certain objects so they can spy on individuals and, you know, so, and then eventually it became, you know, a global, globally sold um, thing or device. Yeah, that's good, good, good ideas, guys. So, if there are no other points that you want to mention, I'll move on to pronunciation and uh, we're going to focus on... <clears throat> The reducing H, okay, and gliding with Y. Okay, so let me explain it to you. Um, yeah, so it's easy to sound awkward when using uh, this tense, right? The past perfect. So it's important to link your words. So sometimes we link words, and then the H, the sound of the letter H disappears. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, have you ever heard of this sound, guys? The reducing H and the gliding with your Y? Like no, never. Like them or him or. Mhm. Mm For example, okay, one example would be uh, had, had, okay. Have, had, yeah. had is the past tense, okay, so uh, sometimes in sentences when we say had, um, the H becomes silent, especially if you're say, joining the other words following or before it, you know, so let's, let's have a look what we have here. So there are a few ways we can do this, right, and uh, we want to focus on the easiest one, which is dropping the H, right? And the linking the AD, the add, right, to the previous word. Okay, so if there's a word before had, that H is dropped. So just here, add. Okay, let's have a look. Um, so if the previous word ended in a vowel, right, we glide that vowel and the add by using a light Y. Okay, or W. All right, so, for example, let's look at this sentence here. I'm going to put it in, your, in the Kuningo chat so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I had already eaten. So it's spelled, I had already eaten. Now, when you're speaking fluently uh, and you speak as a native and you speak fast, you don't, you don't say the H in had. I had already eaten. You say, I had already eaten. 
So you see in the second part of this sentence, which I added here in Kalinga chat, the H becomes like a Y, like a light Y. So I had already eaten. So when you say that, don't emphasize too much on the Y. It's just like a light, you know, a gliding Y. <clears throat> I had already eaten. Okay, I had already eaten. Okay, can you guys say that, Koro? I had already eaten. Yeah. Okay, Sam? I had already eaten. Mm -hmm. Try not to say the H at all. So, I had already eaten. I, I, had, I, I had already eaten. Yeah. I yeah, it's, it's not eaten. easy. Yeah, but you'll, you'll hopefully you'll become, you'll become uh, natural to you. Okay, Cecilia? I had already eaten. Yeah. I'd already eaten. I'd, I'd. Aka Ken? Uh, I had already eaten. Mm. I'd already eaten. I'd. It's like saying, um, you know, I'd. Can you say I'd? I'd. Yeah, I'd. I'd already eaten. You can uh, see how my, my jaw, yeah, my mouth opens, right? I'd, I'd, and it closes. There's no H. Forget about the H, guys, yeah? I know it's spelled like that, but the way you pronounce it uh, uh, as a native, I'd already eaten. I'd already eaten. No, I had already eaten. You know, if you speak maybe a bit more classical in British or you're speaking formally, you would, you know, try to speak properly. Uh, but, you know, as a native speaker, you know, you want to speak fluently, you said, I'd already eaten. Thanks. All right? So that's one example. Okay, have we all said it? I see Marathon was joining and uh, dropping out. I hope he can rejoin again. Um, now the other one, the other sentence I'm giving you now. Sue hadn't, Sue hadn't heard the phone. Sue hadn't heard the phone. Sue hadn't heard the phone. See, there's no Y here. It's a W. See, the next one here is a W. Right? So sometimes we can hear the Y. I'd already eaten. And here, Sue hadn't. Sue hadn't heard the phone. Sue hadn't heard the phone. Now, it's a W here because of the previous uh, word, which ends pretty much with the, uh, the vowel. You know, the, the ending is like, ooh, su, right? So, su hadn't, right? Su hadn't. So, su hadn't heard the phone. Can you repeat that, Koro? Su hadn't. Su hadn't heard the phone. Mm. Su hadn't heard the phone. Yeah. Isam? Su hadn't heard the phone. Okay, Celia? So I didn't hear the phone. Yeah, hold on. Aka Ken? Yeah, so I didn't hear the phone. Mm. So I didn't hear the phone, excellent. So you can you can see your lips, they perk a little bit like that. So, so I didn't. So I didn't hear the phone. Yeah, hold on. Uh, another one would be, uh, okay, this is another one, different one also. Okay, his dad had ordered pizza. His dad had ordered pizza. His dad had. So not his dad had. The H is dropped. So all you hear is dadded, dadded. So his dad had heard, uh, sorry, his dad had ordered pizza. His dad had ordered pizza. His dad had ordered pizza. So remember, drop the H in head. Okay, Koro, can you try and say it, please? He said that I ordered pizza. pizza. Mm -hmm. Try again. His dad had ordered pizza. His dad had ordered pizza. See that dad had. Try to make it one word and say dadded. 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 His dadded. Yeah, his dad had ordered pizza. Excellent. His dad had ordered pizza. Okay. Beautiful. Well done. Isa? His dad had ordered pizza. Excellent. Cecilia? His dad had ordered pizza. Wonderful. Aka Ken? His dad had ordered pizza. Lovely. 
Perfect. All of you have done, done uh, a good job here. So the H is just dropped. So it becomes from dad had, dadded. He's dad he's dadded ordered pizza. <clears throat> Perfect. And one more. Okay. All right. My sister hadn't done her homework. My sister hadn't done her homework. My sister hadn't, right? My sister hadn't done her homework. <coughs> so try to read it yourself, practice a little bit. So my sister hadn't done her homework. So again, we drop the H. My sister hadn't. My sister hadn't done her homework. Okay. All right. Aka Ken, do you want to try? Okay. Uh, my my uh, my sister hadn't done her homework. Yeah. Well done, Cecilia. My sister hadn't done her homework. I said the H. My sister hadn't done her homework. You, you said the H again. My sister hadn't done her homework. That's a bit better, yes. Isam? My sister hadn't done her homework. Excellent. Koro? <coughs> My sister hadn't done her homework. Well done. Uh, Merce, welcome back. Hello. How are you? Do you want to try and say the sentence that I've just typed in the Kulingo chat? And try not yes. to say the hadn't. Don't say the H. Okay. My sister's hadn't done of her homework. Yeah, my sister hadn't done her homework. Well done. Sham. You Hello Sham. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say the sentence as well? That's in the Kalinga chat. Yep. Yep. I read it. Yes, please, yeah. My sister hadn't done her homework. Mm. My sister Hadn't. So the second sentence basically you don't say the H. So my sister hadn't done a, done her homework. My sister hadn't done her homework. My sister hadn't done her homework. Okay, that's good. All right, guys. So so try try to repeat these sentences in your own. You know, uh, you know, throughout the class if you can. And uh, try to perfect that. So the H is dropped. You don't hear it. And before we have the, um, where is it? The W sound. So Sue hadn't. Sue hadn't heard the phone. Sue hadn't. Sue hadn't. Not Sue hadn't. Sue hadn't. Sue hadn't heard the phone. Okay. And I'd already eaten. I had already eaten becomes. I'd already eaten. I'd. Okay, I'd already eaten. I'd already eaten. Well done. So, um, okay. Let me just see. All right, so the grammar. Let's focus on the grammar. Now, the past perfect. I don't know. I can hear some noise in the background. I don't know who it's coming from. Uh, but if you if you don't mind, guys, uh, can you keep your microphones muted so then um, you know when you speak, you can just put it on and keep it off if you don't speak. Like this, we can remove any any interference or any noise in the background. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to share this with you. Oops, sorry. screen share it so you can see <clears throat> the grammar okay and I'll make it bigger for you right so okay so we're talking about past perfect yeah so past perfect here we go um, uh, past perfect, the, this tense allows us to talk about one event that happened in the past before another event that happened in the past. Okay, so we're talking about two events that happened in the past, but one happened before the other. Okay, so it shows which event 
occurred first and which event occurred second. Right, so this is the structure. Right, so we have the subject, like I, they, it, John, Mary, right, plus had, plus verb past participle. Okay, so this is one example here. His manager invited me to dinner, but he had already eaten. Right? So he had already eaten. Had and past participle. Okay, eaten. So two things happened. You were invited to dinner and you had already eaten. So the other thing. The bus departed at 7 a.m. <clears throat> By the time we arrived, the bus had left. Okay, so you, before, by the time you arrived, before this event happened, the bus had left. So two things happened, occurred. So which one occurred first here, guys? The bus left or you arrived? Which one occurred first? Uh, bus first. Yes, excellent. Well done, Akiken. Okay, so it's saying, by the time we arrived, the bus had left, or had already left. So that's the first thing that happened. And then you arrived after that. Excellent. So now to make it negative, right, in this past perfect tense, you, you place the word not between had and the past participle. So we say had not left, for example, right? Or, in this example, she had not seen him for three years. Or, they had not visited me for two years. Okay? So all we do is just add not between had and the past participle, the verb. Alright? Pretty straightforward, that one. Then, we have <clears throat> The third point, which uh, we can form the past perfect continuous to show that there was an action in the past, right, that continued to a specific time in the past. So the way we form this is by having the subject, like I or she, plus had been, and then plus verb ing. All right, so I had been helping. Yeah, I had been helping her for two hours before Jack arrived. See, something was ongoing, right? So you had been helping her for two hours before Jack arrived. So when Jack arrived, you were already in a process of helping, right? So it hasn't stopped. It was ongoing. So this is past perfect continuous. Okay, guys? Another example. Jenny had been staying inside all day before it stopped raining. So it was an ongoing thing. You were inside continuously, yeah? So you had been staying inside all day before it stopped raining. Okay, so then uh, we use past perfect continuous to show cause and effect. All right, so here we have cause and effect. Jim went to bed early because he had been working all day. Yeah, so cause and effect. The cause and effect. Because he worked all day, he went to bed early. Okay, next example. She finally had to sit down because she had been walking for two hours. So had been walking, right? Past perfect continuous. And because of that, uh, because of that she had to sit down. The effect is sit down. Okay, so that's that, guys. Um, are there any questions? I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, is this any? Is this confusing to any of you? Don't be shy. I mean, we can explain it and go through it together. Okay. okay. That's pretty good. Excellent. I will give you another link. Yeah, in case you want it um, explained a, a bit more detail, okay, here's a link I found which is quite informative.
Okay, I'll just add it in the Kulingo chat. It's quite good when it comes to this uh, past perfect. So that link there, I'll just add it, explain. So, right, so we're going to focus on what we just said and um, where are we? Yeah, so if there are no other questions, uh, I shall continue with the actual article. And this is an interesting article. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Why did they invent the nuclear bomb? Hmm. Why did they invent it? Because they want to scare the people. <laughs> <laughs> they want to scare yes. the world. Yes. And, and, and sort of control the world, isn't it? So, okay. <laughs> Uh, it's very simple. Someone wanted to ask that, so I thought we can discuss this here. All right, so let's have a look. Why did they invent the nuclear bomb? All right, so this is one of the answers. That's pretty correct. So the nuclear bomb was invented when it became known that Nazi Germany was actively experimenting with nuclear material to build a possible bomb. Albert Einstein urged President Roosevelt uh, via a letter signed by him that he, he, the president, seriously commence a project to build a nuclear bomb. The project was codenamed Manhattan Project. Eventually, some of the same scientists uh, that were in Germany were brought to, US, to the US where, with their help, the first bomb was tested. I believe that uh, I believe the site is known as Trinity uh, in New Mexico. Uh, besides this fact, Einstein left Germany when he saw the military type regime in schools on time uh, not to fall in the hands of the Nazi. And this is actually a bit more history about it. Right, so Leo Szilard, or Szilard uh, invented the nuclear reactor and nuclear bomb in London in 1933, shortly after the neutron was discovered as an improved source of neutrons for experiments. He was also very aware of their potential destructive effects. He was not able to build either at the time because of lack of suitable material. Otto Frisch discovered the uranium-235 uh, fission when hit by a neutron, uh, producing an excess of neutrons in Berlin in 1938. Right? So another discovery there. This was the first material found that made Szilard, or Szilard's invention practical, but it is a very rare isotope and expensive to concentrate. Uh, Szilard wrote the letter to FDR in 1942, but had Einstein signed, signed it because his name and reputation were well known. So Einstein had to sign it because of his um, high status. So had Szilard signed it himself, Fed, uh, FDR might not have seen the significance and done nothing. Enrico Fermi built the first nuclear reactor in Chicago, Illinois, in 1942. It had a peak operating power of half a watt. Um, Los, Alamos, or Los Alamos Labs built the first nuclear bomb in Los Alamos, New Mexico, in 1945. It was tested at Trinity, at the Trinity site, New Mexico, on July 16, 1945, with a yield of about 20 kilotons of TNT. That's some power. So this is uh, some history about the nuclear bomb, and what and and you know why initially they made it and, and it came into existence. So basically, you know, 
the Americans thought, look, the Nazis are building something. <laughs> we need to be able to defend ourselves or have something of similar power. So, yeah. Well, like Sal mentioned, uh, why have a nuclear bomb at all? Why do we have it to begin with? Uh, you know. So, what? Why else do you think we have, or you know, these countries have these bombs? Anybody? Maybe the scared people or to show the power of the nation. Yes, to to test their muscles, yeah, to flex their muscles in, in their power, in their in their weaponry and whatnot. I mean they haven't really used all it apart from, you know, in Japan, in Hiroshima. Uh, how many times in a, in the history has it been used? Do we know? Who who's good in history? Uh, in France, they have thrown in the desert of uh, not long mm -hmm. ago uh, about. Uh, let me think. Um, I have to think uh, about uh, ten years ago. They threw a bomb in France. Really? Yes. Oh, that they was were just testing military. Testing. Militaries. Mm. Yes, they were testing. In in I in, in Ireland, no. No, in in France, France. In France? Oh, sorry. Yes. Mm. The French were testing, and they were they threw a bomb. Okay. It was a it was a the the were internal. Uh, movements because pacifists, of course, were against that move, and mm -hmm. and the army was in favor, and it was a chaos, mm. internal chaos. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, uh, but it, no one, nobody actually <clears throat> got killed, or no, no, right? nobody got killed. Of course not, yeah, but uh, yes, they they. They tried one and mm -hmm. just testing. Yes, right, so of so of course it wasn't the size of Hiroshima and Nagasaki's, no. Mm. If not, it yeah. would have transcended, uh, and everyone would have noticed it. But it, it they 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 tried one, and in the deserts. Uh, they do uh, test uh, nuclear weapons. Mm, yeah, on a regular basis. Yeah, I know that. Yes. Mm. Okay, so let's begin with some of the questioning. So, how did we invent the atom bomb? So, let's maybe refer back to the article. How did we invent it? It all started in 1933, as I got it. Yeah. Uh, with uh, uh, the English, if I got it right, let's see. Uh, the Leo. I'll give you the article, guys. There's the article. You can open it yourselves and have a look at it. <coughs> So have a look at the article uh, in your own window, so mm -hmm. you can scroll up and down at your own desire. So how did we invent the atom bomb, according to this article? Anyone? And try to try to use the past perfect if you can. How to invent? Uh, I think um, I know uh, I read about this, but I can't describe uh, how there is a lot of strange things that uh, they use it when they invent the clear bomb. 
-hmm. like not it is it isn't isn't uh, dynamic or something like this. Um, they take uh, about uh, a lot of time, two years, three years. Okay. I don't remember exactly how much time. Hmm. But the article says, <coughs> sorry, the article yeah. says that it started with Leo, uh, Leo Sills, Sills Sillard. Sillard. Sillard in London in 1933 mm -hmm. and it continued in Berlin with Otto Slirch uh, in 1938 then it, uh, Sillard uh, continued in 1942 mm -hmm. and then they just uh, uh, they in in 1942 uh, and 1940 1942 and 1945 in Trinity in the United States mm -hmm. and that was a World War the World War Two yes that's right so it was a process right. It all began in oh, 1933, yes, yes. Yeah. when... Yes, it uh, was not out of the blue. <laughs> mm, mm, Nothing is out state. of the blue. <laughs> yeah, so as... Uh, that certain, is magic. Yeah, as discoveries were going on, yeah, so Leo, Leo Szilard, uh, he, he had invented the reactor before they made other discoveries. Yeah. So how can we, you know, make uh, a past perfect sentence using uh, the information that we have? Like everything had 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 start had started in 1933 with Lear uh, Sillard. Mm -hmm. uh, and had uh, had been uh, carried had been carrying on or progressing had yeah. been had been progressing till 1945 when uh, uh, it outbursted. Uh, in 1945 with the Second World War. Perfect. Good but um, I think yes, the first person they spoke mm -hmm. about nuclear was Einstein, no? Yes. Yeah, Einstein, you see, but it doesn't actually mention when um, see in the, in the beginning of the first paragraph here he talks about Albert Einstein, how he urged the, the American president, Roosevelt, you know, uh, to make, uh, to build a nuclear bomb because the Germans uh, mm -hmm. were already working on something, right? But it doesn't mention a, a date. But, yeah, that's a good point. But initially, the, Leo, uh, Leo Szilard, he is the one that sort of started the whole process, you know, uh, of, of nuclear bombs, you know, according to this these answers here. And... Um, so now, if you use another question, so when was the first atomic bomb built? And now try to give me an answer using a, a good, you know, past perfect sentence. So when Can was I the try? first? Yes, please go ahead, Isan. Um, it is used in USA or uh, invited in USA. Mm -hmm. So when when was it? What what year? Uh, well, uh, it was in USA. No, the first nuclear yeah. bomb. Yeah, it must be a year. Was was uh, wielded in invented. 19, yeah. In 1933. 
Marcos Bills, United oh. of America. Oh, yes. you, you, you ask when uh, uh, that yeah. man with time, yeah. Yes, the time, yes. So look at the Klinger mm. chat. I've put the question there. So when was the first atomic bomb built? Not the Bill. discovery. Yeah, not the discovery, uh, Koro. Okay, the discovery, sorry. yeah, the discovery was back in 33. But when was the actual first one, the first bomb built? I believe it mentions it towards the end. The first atom bomb was built. Uh, uh, hold, let me pause you for one second and try to use past perfect. So instead of was. Yes, but I need past perfect, but in passive, no? Uh, you know, you can, you can form the sentence or the answer using past perfect. So as long as you give two things that happened. Because both of them are in the past, right? Had been built. Yeah, or, yeah, mm. try, try. I think or was wielded is, is wrong. Invented? No? Yeah, yeah. Had been invented. No, no, no. Yeah. Yes, Sean? <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, not 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 quite. Not quite. Can anyone else try? Can I try? Yes. Uh, the fir uh, the first uh, atomic bomb uh, has build was building uh, in uh, USA. Mm hmm. Yeah, if you look at the last sentence of this article. Okay, can, can I try? It yes, was tested. Okay, sorry. Uh, those armors labs built the first nuclear bomb uh, in 1945, but uh, before that, I forgot the name, uh, Leo Cizrad had already been invented nuclear reactor and a nuclear bomb in London. Yes, that's good. Good sentence. Excellent. So the last, the last uh, paragraph, the Los Alamos Labs. So we could say Los Alamos Labs had built, yeah, had built the first nuclear bomb in Los Alamos, New Mexico in 1945. When, and then you can add something to that. Um, uh, you, know, you can add another scenario that also also happened. Uh, for example, before that, you have in 1942, Enrico Fermi built the first nuclear reactor in Chicago. Right? So you can join these two and make make the actual past perfect answer. Yeah, when? When was it first built? Yeah, so we we can use. Yeah, we can use Los Alamos. Los Alamos had built, or Los Alamos Labs had built the first nuclear bomb in in Los Alamos, New Mexico, in 1945. Uh -huh. Alright, and then you say, and then you can say after Enrico Fermi. Uh, had built the first nuclear reactor in Chicago in 1942. That's it. Or you can swap it around. Okay? So that's one way of saying it. So let's have a look at another one. Um, okay. Another question. How has the invention affected our world? So how has this invention of the nuclear bomb affected our world? You know, for the last, let's say, almost 60 years since, you know, that's been invented, the nuclear bomb, 
what impact has that had on the world? As in, you know, since it's been used in in uh, Hiroshima and, uh, in, uh, during that time, and the in general, the the people now know that these superpowers like Russia, America, they have these nuclear weapons and nuclear bombs. How has that now affected the whole world? And I try try to give me give me answers using you know had. Uh, and then past participle. Okay. This invention had changed mm -hmm. our form to have a war. Yes. To yes, to for it, for warfare. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. It had it had changed. Uh, it had changed. The world, the world, tragically. Yes. Good. Good sentence. As the consequence, as the consequence that left Hiroshima and Nagasaki, uh, generation after generation. Yes. Good. <clears throat> Anyone else? <clears throat> Can I try? Yes, go ahead. So, uh, I think uh, this invention had uh, affected a lot of people uh, to scare only that, uh, nothing else. It is bad inv invention. I think that. So it was mainly created or invented, you know, to scare the scare, yeah, scare the people only. The other people, yeah. <clears throat> Nothing else. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. Or to show basically that who's boss, who's running the world. You know, the ones with most nuclear weapons, you know, can do the most damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And are uh, kind of victims and. Uh, victims' offsprings gene had affected to the radiation. Absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. So there's further damage that had been done since uh, some of the atomic bombs had been dropped. Yes. So the, the later generations are suffering disabilities, you know, and all sorts. Excellent. Yes, Sean? Pardon? It had created the globalization and. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's good, yes, good sentence. Yeah, okay, that's it pretty much. Um, are there any questions? You want to ask me? Yes, I heard you know present tense uh, cannot be used in a specific time, like in 1933 or 1945. But is it true? Present kind tense. Of, uh, kind of perfect tense, present perfect or past perfect, mm -hmm. cannot be used in a specific time, like in 1933 or something. <laughs> It depends on what you uh, on the actual, you know, what you're talking about. If it's an event mm -hmm. that occurred, then mm -hmm. and it's past, then it's fine, you know. Okay. Uh, so if it happened in 1945, it's no problems with that, you know. And mm -hmm. you're using it to talk about a past event, mm, okay. you know. Okay. So it's fine. Yeah, shouldn't be shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Okay. No problems. And. Okay, so let me start questioning you just to make sure that we understand this grammar skill. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to give you <coughs> a word. Let's start with Aka Ken. Okay, I'll give okay. you a word, Ken, and um, you just give me a sentence uh, using past perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your, f your word is hate. Hate? Yeah, I'll type it for you, hate. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 to make a past perfect? 
Yes, pause okay. perfect. Take, okay. take a few seconds, think about it, and then... Okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't, don't want to put pressure on you. Uh, many people uh, had hated an uh, 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 atomic bomb, and uh, people is hating uh, atomic bomb uh, still. <laughs> is it true? Still. Mm. Okay. You're hating, yeah. And it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, it's a good sentence. Mm. Uh, one thing to remember, though, is uh, when we are forming this past perfect now, remember at the very beginning when we described the, the grammar, uh, we mentioned that that we're sort of describing or we're talking about two two events that, that mm. uh, happened in the past, mm. and we're now explaining which one happened first and which one happened second, right? So if you're mm. saying here, Perhaps with hate, you could say, I, or, um, I'll give you one. I had hated homework for 10 years mm. before I learned to enjoy it. Mm. So you say one thing, and then something else happened after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. So keep that in mind. I'll give you another one, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, wait. 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 Mm -hmm. I I waited uh, my friend before I had uh, uh, come back to my home. Mm -hmm. That's good, but you forgot one thing at the beginning. You said I waited. I mm, I, I waited. And I waited. what comes before? Mm -hmm. what waited for. Uh, uh, waited for a friend. <coughs> You have to make it past perfect. So how would you change it from simple? Uh, I had uh, I had waited for my friend before Excellent. I came back. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 That's good. That's better. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Akaken. That's good. Um, okay. Who's next? Cecilia. Okay, here we go. I'll give one for you. One second. Okay. Um, change. Okay. Can I have the other one and time to elaborate while you pass to the other student? Because I'm so slow. <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay, I'll give you. I'll give you a, a moment. And okay. um, to, the, your word is change. Okay, change. Yes. Change. And, um, Take your time, there's no rush. Okay, okay, okay. Change. Um. <clears throat> Okay, I had been changing the linen from rope to rope, but the sum wouldn't come. Last uh, last afternoon, last afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, uh, before the evening. Uh, the sun came. Uh, the sun came up, and the the clothes dried up. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me a whole story there. <laughs> like always. That's why I need time. Oh, I, I love I love it when you're in my class, Cecilia. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you have a uh, you have a nice story there to tell. But it's good. It's a good sentence. Thank Excellent. You. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, let's move on to Isam. Okay, Isam. For you, I'll I'll uh, give a word. 
me see. Okay, can you give me any? <clears throat> just give me any past perfect sentence. Uh, had you any? Uh, do you had any? Anything to do? Do you had anything to do? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. Uh, yes. Okay. You do you want the story? Yeah, like Cecilia. About the beautiful, about the beautiful sunny um, Greek beaches. Come on, yeah. my friends, my friends who had traveled told me they are wonderful. Yeah, you, 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 you might, you might have beautiful scenarios to have beautiful stories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yes. Okay. Just yeah. Try to use your imagination, like Cecilia said. Okay. Uh, uh, any. Okay. I have yeah. Anything. Uh, I had been uh, any place. Uh, no. Do you had been any place uh, before? Do you have been any place before? Yeah, and and try to add something to that before. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, do you have Do you then, have uh, Do you have been uh, any place before? Uh, come, uh, you come, you came, you go, you come. Before you came, UK. yeah. Before you came to the UK. To the UK. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a good try. Good effort. You know. Uh, ideally, maybe you would want to say, um, maybe, have you had, okay, have you had, have you uh, had? anything interesting, uh, or have you had any interesting experiences mm-hmm. before you came to the UK, okay, so have you had any interesting experiences before you came to the UK, mm-hmm. okay, okay, all right, that's, but it's a good effort, thank you, Sam. Thank you. Okay, Koro. Uh, also, yes, hello. Give me just any any random. Use your imagination and give me a past perfect uh, sentence. Yeah, um, take your time. One moment. I am like Cecilia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same goes for Merz and and uh, Sham. So use your time now uh, yes. to think of. I yeah. uh, I had learned. A lot of in German before I gone to Germany. Mm-hmm. Before I went to Germany, maybe. Before I went to Germany. Excellent. Very good. Good sentence. Thank you. Thank you, Colin. And uh, Maris? Yes. Yeah. Just um, a sentence okay. using past perfect. I had hesitated a lot before I made a decision. Sorry. I had hesitated a lot before I made the decision. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Did you just think about that now, or did you think about it since Cecilia was taking <laughs> so much time? Well, <laughs> See, <I don't. laughs> you were in uh, an advantage. I tried <laughs> yeah, to, to make it shorter. <laughs> That's good. You had a lot of time. You had a lot of time to yes, think about it. Yes, it was good. an uh, advantage. Yeah. Yes, but Cecilia's story was still fascinating. I enjoy that. <laughs> yes, me too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Merce and Sham. What's your sentence? Give us a sentence with past perfect. And I think you might have to speak up louder because I've got difficulty hearing you. Hope she doesn't drop out. Are you there? Yeah, sorry. Okay. I had used to warm up before I went to run. So sometimes. Oh, that's good. So I had. Can you repeat it, please? Yeah, I had used to warm up before I went to run. 
You had used to wear a mop. To wear a mop. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's good. Um, <clears throat> maybe you can say I had worn. Because you said I had. Was. I had used to wear. Is that what you said? Wear. Warm, W A R M. Ah, warm, yes. Warm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're saying you used to be warm. Okay. I, I had used to warm up, or I had warm up, you, you want to. Uh huh. Ah, warm up before you run. Okay, let me see. Um. How would you say that? I had, just keep it simple, uh, basic, I had warmed up. I had warmed up before I ran. Without used to? Yeah, don't have to say used to. Because you're talking about two, okay. two events that happened in the past. Action. Okay, bye Merce, yeah, she's going as yeah. well. So. Two things, let's say you're talking about maybe last weekend. So I had warmed up before I ran. Okay? So you don't want to say you don't want to talk about what usually you do. You know, in it, it passed perfect. You say you talk about yeah, a, yeah. Yeah, one event that happened before after another event. So I had warmed up before I ran. Or before I went for my run. You can say I had warmed up before I went for my run. You can also say that. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Very good. Good effort. All right, guys. Uh, if there are no other questions, I'm everyone's dropping out already, so I'll, I'll leave you to it. I'll let you go. It was great having you in my class as always. I really enjoy it, and I uh, hope to see you again soon tomorrow. Okay. Hope so. Have a nice day. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye, bye, guys.